Missing chunks. Please fix. That's the test room. I forgot about that. That's our NPC test room down there. Anyway, hey guys, you're watching. You want to know My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Look at all the missing chunks. Ooh, how weird. No, that didn't work. Ooh, spooky. Uh, I'm back to being me again. Whee! I ain't got my freaky, weird Steve messed up skin. But we're in the middle of building our Chinatown today. I'd like to get uh, the block choices settled for our buildings here on either side. And I think, let's do that and let's grab our night vi our might vision. Our night vision potion. A sabalashi and turn off the shaders. Now I want to have, I think brick is always a really good block to use when you're doing buildings next to each other. I think we need something like a cyan or something like that to break it up on the brick. And then maybe we'll fit some stone brick in there. I've got hiccups, I apologise. Maybe a little bit of stone brick here and there. I think clay would be a great block to mix in as well. It's another sort of greyish block. Might get some red stained uh, clay in there just to sort of fit in with the Chinatown theme. I think the red is just going to really help pop out some parts of the building and you know what this is going to be a wild stab in the dark but we might also throw some spruce logs in there a little bit of dark it goes very well with the red it goes quite well with the um stone brick or the gray and the brick color as well bricks red so it obviously goes well with brick but i think it'll go well with the gray if used in moderation we also might, might want some stairs or something like that uh to dress up some areas so we'll, we'll, we'll throw some bricks together we'll give it a go let's start off on this side if we can do like uh not necessarily maybe alternate between brick and clay and stone brick and um what was it brick and cyan stone brick and clay brick and cyan stone brick and clay but maybe we can do like a two or one or one or two something like that and sort of mix them in that way let's start i think it's probably a really smart idea to just start with the fronts of the buildings and sort of work our way back with them so we need the pillar to be here because the pillar is connecting up to this fence post and we've got the brick along the bottom and we're going to want to have definitely the bricks going through here i like so i don't want to have the cyan clay straight onto the window so we're definitely going to want to put those ones in like this i might as well put the bricks along the top here as well that's probably just a smart idea uh, breaking all the blocks i don't want to break okay and then from here we can now put down what we want in these windows so this one i think we'll probably have mostly open so maybe we'll do something like this uh, maybe i'll do it the other way maybe i'll do it this way we'll have a little window in there and then this side will be uh like open maybe it'll have some chests out there it's more of like the serving hatch if you like on these buildings it's a little bit tricky to explain i'll put a couple of windows on the top there make it nice and simple easy to to go with here we're going to bring the building back a slight bit i'm going to stick with the brick and cyan but i'm going to bring this back here i haven't got oh i do have a blooming thing on there can i put this down would it look weird if i had it down here with the bricks further back oops hopefully not now that should that should be okay so then we'll have this going up here again we're going to go we'll mix in some stone brick and clay in some of them as well but i think we we'll start off with two bricks at least on this side uh we'll probably it's a bit of a smaller one so we'll do more of a, a small restaurant with a little door and a window up there and i'll probably block that up completely because on the outside we want a little bit of wall space i'm going to do a test it might not work but i think something they have these like neon advertisement board things almost like if we've done something like like that you see it just pops out it gives the the strip a little bit of color uh when you're walking down here i could imagine that saying i don't know uh i'm trying to think of a, a restaurant name uh Hi Shangs. Hi Shangs. Delicacies. <laughs> I don't know. In like Chinese writing written down there, that would look amazing. Do you know what I mean? Like I could, I could really imagine that. This next building, let's try our stone brick combination here. So we'll want. 
I think if we do the same pattern as we've done with the brick and uh, cyan clay, but instead of brick in the middle, we now do the clay. It'll be a real nice way to be able to replicate the buildings all the way through, give a bit of uniformity to it, but make it a little bit different to the others. Plus, I think colour will really pop out well on these greyer buildings. We can use some greens, maybe. Touch hints of greens. Oops, splash. Okay, this one I want a larger window. Oh, perfect. Yeah, much larger window. And then we can have that up there, that up there. Oh, look at that. A perfect little three across the top. Oh, yeah. It's starting to really work here. Uh, this one we'll go back to brick with. I'm going to drop it back a block. Always try and drop sort of forward and back, I think, is probably the best way. I've got to have this pillar here because of these uh, iron bars that we've got there. So we'll sort of pre-prep ourselves and put this pillar in like this. And we'll make this building here with the cyan ones just a little bit smaller so we can still have the pillars going up. it. Something like this. It's a bit of a thinner building. We can put like a little doorway in there. Maybe a little thin window. Did I do a small door? I want to do a bigger door. Yeah, something like that. I don't mind if I put... Uh, I might put a slab, I think, though, underneath it. Because three always looks super tall, but two looks too short. I think two and a half is a good door height. Plus here, it gives the brick texture going underneath this banner, as opposed to being being like flush with it. Just a little detail that nobody really cares about apart from me. <laughs> I, no one cares. Uh, that one, that one, and maybe a little double one going up the top there. Put that in there. It makes the windows the same size. That's cool. It's like a little thinner one there. That looks very mobsterish, doesn't it? Do you know? I mean, imagine the uh, guys on the door here, and they won't let you in unless, like, you've got the secret password or whatever they have. I'm not a mobster, so I don't, I don't really know <laughs> how it works. Would you believe it? Um, AJ's not a mobster. <laughs> we'll have. This last one be cyan. I think for the other side, I'll do off camera. And I'll just do the same sort of thing, but just in like a different order. I think you guys sort of get the gist of this now. Uh, we'll have the door on this side for this one. I mean, why not? And I really like this sort of open feel. I really want to keep that open feel. We'll have two windows in like that. Okay. We'll work on the open parts uh, in a moment. Okay, let me do that on the other side, and I should be back. I might even throw down the side walls as well, because uh, they're going to be easy. The fronts... I was having a think from last episode, right? Or well, technically, this is the back, I suppose. You know how we were saying last episode, you probably remember we were having a, like a front entrance in here, so an entrance on this side as well as the entrance on that side. I don't know if I like that. I think I'd rather have just a wall here with some windows on the back. I think that'll be smarter. So maybe to get this Chinatown moving a little bit quicker, I might do that off camera as well, okay? So we'll see how it goes. I'll be back. All right, so I'm just putting some windows in here. Expect the recording to be interrupted any moment because uh, I'm expecting a call. So yeah, you might hear my terrible ringtone. It's a boring one, it's just a ring ring. <laughs> Uh, we've got the backs on, we've got the sides on, apart from this little bit here, because we just, like, add our own building in there in, later on. Uh, but boy, that is looking really cool, isn't it? Along these edges, on the back sides and the sort of, uh, lefts and rights, I'm just putting some random holes in. They sort of line up, or they do line up with the windows at the front, just for aesthetical reasons. But it just gives a little bit of life to the back side. Now, there's some detail that we obviously need to put in here. Uh, obviously, like, the glass. Uh, but window sills and all that kind of stuff will just dress up the front here or the back. Uh, would you call this the front or the back? Because I'd class it sort of the front because it's on the road, but then I'd class it the back because you'd normally see it from, from this side. So I, I really don't know. I don't know if I want to just do this here or if I want to add some sort of leave greenery in there. Not 100% sure yet. But yeah, we're looking, we're looking really good. Splash potion on here. So these little tuck away portions... I'm not one of these guys that do interiors. You guys know that. We've been here for over 250 episodes now, and I don't really do interiors of buildings at all. And I think with this one, it's going to be no different. We're going to do a sort of fake interior. We'll do something. We'll block up the windows with some black wool or something like that, and then put some glass over the front, white glass over the front of it, and it'll look fine. 
But then in these opening areas, I would really like to have uh, just a, a little bit of a visible window in here into like a fake room, if you like. And this is, I think, going to be where the logs and stuff come in. So we'll have something like that and like that. And then kind of, yeah, perfect. We'll use spruce planks here. Just like this. Real simple. Why do things complicated if they don't need to be? Like this. Oh, you can't see the logs, can you? If I do it like that, you can't see the logs. I want to be able to see them. We'll put them back like this and like this. And then put that here. Just so it's like that we can still see a bit of the logs there, right? Uh, this will be stone. And this will be stone in the areas that sort of drop back a little bit. So it'll sort of go in and out, in and out. In here, do we just do oak? I think, again, keep it simple. We haven't got as much to worry about then. So we've got... Oops. We've got a basic little room here. Now we can do stuff like dark oak. And we can put a little... I wish I'd stop breaking the wrong box. A little table in here. I might bring it forward a block. Little table with maybe uh, some bookshelves behind here. I want to be able to see. I want to be able to see the logs. Something like that, and chest. See something like that. Torch. I think torch is just going to work really well for the inside of these. Even if we just place one torch there. See. So as you're walking past, imagine this window. Let's block this window up black we put the black there like that and we get the glass I might use white stained glass here so look it's just a fake window there you see and as we're walking down you can sort of see in them we get some like little NPCs in there and stuff like that to stand behind there that would be amazing if we do the same up here let's try and get like an idea on how we're gonna do these buildings uh to try and find it oops like that and like that i want some little window sills on here some slabs maybe quartz would go quite well a little bit of white down here see i like that wall looks a little bit plain can we like get some definition in there placing in some upside down stairs above the windows So it adds a little bit of depth there. You get a little bit of shadow underneath. Maybe with the shaders it'll work a little bit more. Maybe place these ones the right way up. So we get this sort of uh, missing part out of there. I sort of like that. Maybe with some of them we'll have like a bit of a, an overhang. So like, I don't know. This one right here on this larger one. We could have something like... Uh, oh. <laughs> Something like that there and there. Uh, wool. Let's go with red and yellow. That's a torch. Red and yellow. Yeah, see, something like that on there. I don't want to go too crazy because I don't want to cover the whole lot. I still want to be able to see up and all that stuff. So I'll have one there, maybe one up towards the end of this sort of overhang balconette area i think that's pretty cool it'd be cool to have some more like advertising stuff ah we can do that kind of thing we've got somewhere where would they be there's like little signs that's armor weapon blocks somewhere in here see some of these would be absolutely perfect like a little lamp at the back there not there, but you guys get the idea. Um, banners. Ba barrels down here would look amazing. Um, maybe a little bit darker one. No, not a stone one. Maybe those two we can get away with. Oops. See something. Just a few of them. Like, don't go crazy with them. But maybe some barrels and crates. That's a torch again. Uh, crates will be done here on this page as well. Yeah, these. We'll grab like one of them and one of them. 
Shelves could work quite well out the back of them as well. Let's grab a dark oak, one of those. And uh, where was the crates? Ah, here. We'll grab that crate and that crate. I'm going to put these down now because I know I'll forget otherwise. So there's like little storage parts of the stock for the shops and stuff out the front here. Be careful not to do too many of them. Yeah, see, just looking down there already, I think that looks so cool having that there. See these little, oops, little shelves in there. If I face the right way, ooh, oh dear. Yeah, really dressed that up, and then how do we get? This? Yeah, like that. See, and I think we can put something in there. So. I think maybe as a starter we could put a book in here. Something like that. Yeah! How awesome is that? So a little bookstore there on that one. Uh, this one's going to be a little restaurant. I mean, how could I do that? How, what, what, what would we do for like uh, food? Chicken. Chicken, absolutely. Now, I, I changed cooked chicken into McDonald's fries, but it uh, should be fine. Chicken. Yeah, I don't think I've really got many normal foods left, do we? Fries, chicken, fish, maybe fish, soup. Soup could work like a, the, the stew house. I think I like stew. Yeah, I think that would be really cool to have. This is a restaurant, so we could just, uh, again, block up these windows here. Like that. Uh, I think I'll probably block up the door as well. The way I think we'll do this is I'll do that and place a door in front of it. Dojo. What was that? Not, not dojo. Soji? A soji door? See, that works really well. Um, if I swap that out for a stair. You see, it opens up still, but you can't access it. Do you know what I mean? Glass. See, that's so cool when we're walking down here. Okay, more of a larger one here. We're going to have to change the blocks up. We've got the wood and then the spruce on the brick ones, which works really well. But what do we do on the grey ones? Just something that we can easily do. Sandstone would work really well. We've got, already got sandstone in the area. And I think I'll do the same depth as the other ones. So I have sandstone there. And sandstone here. And then, like a little cornerstone block. Uh, that will work really well for the floor. Oh yeah, this one. A nice smooth, smooth but different grey. Like that. Okay. Put these down here. Does it still confuse you guys that this block is actually black wool and black wool is actually birch planks? It is, look. See? Black wool. Crazy. <gasps> the reverse. Okay. Um, in here then, what is this going to be? I don't really know. We'll pass. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to them. We'll, we need some ideas. Maybe you guys can uh, can leave me some ideas in the, in the comment section. On what to sort of do in some of these. How we can dress them up and make them all look... A little bit unique, all a little bit different to each other. This little black wool technique. Thunder. That scares me in game. Um, what was I going to say? Damn stupid weather throwing me off. Still got the roof still. Oh yeah, uh, this window style of uh, black wool and glass in front will work well on the outsides as well. It won't look all that weird. I don't think at least. Oh, that looks so cool, dressing it all up. I want more of these sort of 
colors going down we've got color on that one we've got color on this one here maybe we'll do a little a little touch of green or something yeah like a dark green not lime something like that maybe we'll use this wall just to pop that out there i don't know mate i don't know yet it might stay it might not i like having a little hint of color down the sides of them we go like that that stays the same let's just get these in here man these episodes go quick is it just me time flies by Especially when we've got to be as creative as we are here. You need, you need a little bit of creativity to do this, don't we? Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, amazing. So this last building here, we'll have to do something that ties into the same colour scheme and stuff. It's just sort of more of a, a corner one. This here will just be, I think, uh, a little car park for the train station. I think it just makes a lot of sense. It fills up that area nicely. We're not going to be able to fit any more buildings in there. And I want to be able to see the back of the Chinatown buildings from the road here. I just think it'll look really nice. Um, yeah. i tell you what. Off camera, I'm going to fill block all of these windows up. Uh, just so we get a, a nice place for us to stop. Okay? I'll be back. Alright. So I've gone round all of the walls now. I've put in the uh, stairs on top of all the brick windows. And the courts below all the uh, brick windows around all of the sides i've blocked up all of the windows it's getting a little bit more solid of a feeling now on these gray ones i was like what can we do on the gray ones i don't want to do the quartz slabs on these as well and obviously we don't have clay stairs so what can we do and i think i haven't tried it but i think trap doors could look oh these ones trap doors could look really nice on either side of these windows it's a great way not only to dress it up with some uh, different texture. So we've, got, we've got the white, we've got the sandstone -y color, the yellowy sort of creamy color. But it also gives a little bit of depth. These trap doors poke out just that little bit. Sort of, what is it, eighth of a block or so? I, what is it? It's not a quarter, is it? What is it? One, two. I don't know, it might be an eighth of a block. I don't really know how deep these are, to be honest. What do we think? I'm not a huge fan. Let's put it that way. Trap door. Caps lock is on. I'm not a huge fan. Maybe it's to do with night vision, potentially. Um, maybe it's to do with the trap door itself. Let's try swapping these. These look quite good. These trap doors, when you double them, because the, um, the silver hook goes then on the top and the bottom. I don't know. It just looks really neat. I like that a lot better. Out of the two, that and that. Or do we keep them both? And have one like that and one like that? You know, we might keep them both. I definitely prefer having the trap doors on it to not. It still looks a little blank down the middle though. How can we um How could we just fix that? Like something something here. Maybe we just put a little bit of colour on the back here. Like uh like a green and brown on the back of this one. And see, it just dresses up that back side, gets rid of the two clay blocks together. What a different, something different down here. Maybe orange and yellow still keeps with the sort of color scheme that we've got throughout the place. I don't use yellow and orange wool all that much, so it's nice to just poke it in when we can. See, that's a lot better. When we're walking down the path here, it's just nice to have a little bit of colour going down there. We can walk underneath them. It doesn't. We don't bang our head on anything. Yeah, see, that could work really well. And then these trap doors on these ones. And then if I just grab the other trap doors, we'll just do it on the other side as well. So we want, if this one is birch and that one is spruce, we'll have this one spruce. Just so they sort of get away from each other a little bit. Or oppose each other. Just need them on the top of that one. And then we'll have birch on this one. And because the buildings are connected, I'll probably put birch on the one to the left of this as well. 
it's only one window. Pop around over the top and down the other side. Birch for this one. Oops. One on there. Birch on this one. Okay, and then spruce on this last one. I'm really happy with that. I think that just adds something totally different in there. We'll dress up the backs of these later on. We've got the roofs to do next episode. A little mix of flat roofs and small, very shallow peaked roofs, I think. Connect this back up to something so this isn't floating here. Uh, but yeah, I'm super, super happy. Dress up a little bit more of this inside. Add some plantage and stuff like that. Some greenery. And, uh, and do the best of the shops. Alright guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you already then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode. Bye!